In the city, away from the reservation, some people think he's Chinese or Spanish. But Joe Killswright is a Sioux Indian from South Dakota. Joe came to New York to work, but he lost his job, and without any money, he's been forced to live on the street. When was the last time you took a bath? About a week ago. Where do your friends live? In the building right down here. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go see. Uh -huh. In one of New York's worst neighborhoods, Joe and other Indians found an abandoned building. It has no windows or heat, but they call it their home. This is where all the Indian people stay. It's where a lot of brothers and sisters come together. They got no place else to go. Jeannie's the one that started the whole thing. This is the Native American survival house. When our people come to the city, this is where we stay. Sometimes hundreds of Indians. A lot of transits from out west come here. You got any electricity? Yeah, welcome. Come. All right, let's take a look. You got any electricity? No, no electricity, no running water. What's in here? This is where we stay. When Joe lost his job, he began drinking. Every day, he drank more and more, and only his friend Jeannie, an Indian from Oklahoma, tried to help him. Why are you drinking again? Uh, I don't know. Well, first of all, it happened that uh, I had too much pressure to the place where I was living. But now I'm, I'm drinking a little bit, because uh, if I don't, I'll probably just break out and cry, man. I miss my ex-wife, I miss the girl I was supposed to marry, I miss my son, I miss my mom and dad, I miss my brothers and sisters back home, I miss my land. It's the pressures too, you know, it's the same reason why I drink too. Yeah. It's the pressures. Because when I came here, you know, I didn't drink at all. Yeah. The pressures, you know, homesick, just the city, you know, it's... I don't know, I'm just a, it's still America, but I'm a stranger in a strange land, because I wasn't born in this type of society or situation. I'm a stranger in a strange land because I know it. And people treat me that way and talk to me that way and act that way to me. That's an Indian here. That's a wig? Oh. Do you know what an Indian is, really? Yeah. yeah. An Indian, that's some kind of music. That's an Indian. Yeah. What you doing there, anyway? Right now, what am I doing here? I'm surviving like the rest of you people. Jose? Jose? What happened, brother? But Joe's friends were not doing such a good job of surviving. There had been a car accident. Seven were injured, and one was killed. That night, in New York City, there was an Indian funeral. Get up on that thing, man. Whatever you're in, man, get up. I know, man. It has been three months since Joe has worked. He drinks, he smokes pot, and he's become addicted to heroin. To survive, he robs other addicts and steals their money and drugs. I went out and jacked this dude up, you know, boom. I know you got it, man. I need it now or I'm gonna gut you, man. So that's cool, that's cool. Crushed it up, we cooked it up. And I went back up, I said, I'm cool. Why didn't you tell me, you know, what you was taking? 
Oh, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't tell anybody. I couldn't tell anybody because you know, you know, how everybody feels about junkies. I don't feel that way. I stood by Robin. And, and when they find anything. out that I'm starting to put that again, you know, they're gonna label me. They're gonna put a jacket on me. Then they're gonna start hassling me about it. He would talk about it. I'm sure it would help because I didn't know. You know, the only thing I knew was you. The only. The only. I know when I'm turning into a junkie, man, because I'm, you know? I'm starting to have the symptoms again. And these symptoms are telling me, hey, kid, you're turning into a junkie again. Remember what happened last time. I remember what happened. You're going to die this time. Remember last night when we were talking about memories? Yeah, yeah. I woke up with a lot of bad memories this morning. Yeah, me too. you got to get away from here. Joe was desperate to kick his habit. He went to the hospital and tried to get into their detoxification program. But they turned him down, and four hours later, Joe was back on the street. They told me I wasn't sick enough. You weren't sick enough to be admitted? No. Apparently, you have to be half dead you know, before they pay attention to you. In that place. So they sent you back onto the streets? That's right. So what are you going to do now? Guess what they're all expecting me to do. I gotta detox myself. Yeah, how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna walk. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking. Joe walked for 12 hours. The next morning, he came back to the hospital. He really wanted to quit using alcohol and drugs. But two hours later, he was back on the streets again. He just couldn't get through all the red tape at the hospital. What happened in there? I'm supposed to bring a rent receipt, a social security card, and a birth certificate before they even uh, admit me inside the hospital as an inpatient. Finally, Joe found a treatment center that would accept him. Here, there was no bureaucracy, only friendship. Joe, I wasn't born a waitress, my dear. <laughs> Can I tell you? What, what is your name, Jen? Uh, Joe Kills Ray. Do you think you're addicted to alcohol? It's good to start with. Joe, when was the last time you had a towel? I don't know, it wasn't telling the time. Mm -hmm. For the first time in three months, Joe slept in a bed. When you get some sleep, yeah. you'll be all right. That's what you need, some rest. He was exhausted and would need all his strength to kick his habit. You know, it's a big change from New York. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is the uh, north side of the reservation. You know, we do a lot of you know, horseback riding or just exploring the area around here. I grew up in this area. They took everybody and just concentrated everybody in this one little circle here called the housing project. Why be packed in like this when you got all this open space and everybody's got a piece of land of their own and that's where they want to be. This is where my uh, parents live. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Joe's house is always crowded with an assortment of